So my dude's Valk here, and I normally don't record this early, so this might be the longest you guys, it's been since you guys have heard my morning voice, but, um, Mihoyo is pissed. Mihoyo is super pissed about 1.5 datamite leaks, um, and I just want to make it a little warning for everybody out there that Mihoyo is 100% going after leakers. Um, that's why I, that's why I made the video I did yesterday, and that's why I, I call it copyright because I'm not. Nope, <laughs> by no means am I going to uh, leak anything. So instead, what I want to do is this: this is a good conversation topic, and hopefully, it opens dialogue between Mihoyo and the players because leaks are a major issue in Genshin Impact. They are. They hurt hype for coming for because we already know what's coming with 1.5 essentially. Like pretty much day one, the entire update's been data mined. Um, but we already know what's coming with 1.5. So, Mihoyo, if you're watching this, here's a couple suggestions that would help curb the leaks or at least make it so literally no one cares about them. Um, most and first and foremost and the most important one you can do release a fucking roadmap of the characters the reason why you're so pissed about the weeks and the reason why Mihoyo is pissed about the leaks because it's a common gotcha tactic all of them do it um, they want you to spend your free mo gems that you've been saving on either Venti or child or whoever right they want you to spend your free mo gems on them and then they want you to have to swipe for a baddie that's coming than 1.5 for an absolute fucking masterpiece of a unit that's coming in 1.5. That's what they want. And now that's not going to happen. And that's why they're pissed. That's that's the cycle that they're up. Mihoyo, abandon that fucking cycle, bro. Just accept the fact that people are going to want to save for who they're saving. You're not going to be able to... You don't need to scum people. This game's making so much money. You don't need to do scum gacha tactics because it's a common tactic I've seen almost every gacha game I've ever played. You don't need to do that with Kenshin. It's making so much fucking money that you can literally release a roadmap of your characters and people who want to plan out characters. Just make sure to put in the roadmap, hey, all this is subject to change. And be like, okay. And sometimes you'll be like, hey, we're switching out this character for this character, switching out this character for this character. And in that roadmap, put down the planned materials that people can start collecting. Don't say like, Oh, this is a new boss map this character needs. Just say, oh, this character needs X, X, and X that you can get right now. And start planning for it. And do something like that. Release a roadmap. You know, work with the community. And they won't... Like, the only thing people care about in the leaks is fucking characters, bro. Because it takes months to actually level up a character, work on them, etc. And all that. And, yeah, that's basically it. Release a, release a roadmap. Work with the gear community, not against them, dude, and it'll go fantastically for you. The other thing is, um, I wanted to make, I wanted to kind of address is the fact Mihoyo is upset about this means it hurts their bag, it means it's hurting their money. Because you touch the money, that's whenever they get upset. And like I, I just explained why it hurts their money a lot. This, this completely, the 1.5 data mines. Just dropped a fat L on 1.4. Mihoyo is going to take a huge L on 1.4 because of the data mines. I mean, they're still going to make money because it's gotcha, right? But they are taking a fat fucking L on 1.4. And now they're going to have to hire all sorts of legal teams and spend money like that. Whenever all this effort could be used into making more content. Except they're going to be going after people who leaked this shit. So everybody who leaked everything... Dude... Stay, stay strong, stay strong. That's all I gotta say. Um, they're gonna be going after people for sure, cause this you you mess with their money now, and now they're pissed. But yeah. So to the point I was getting at is, it's really telling whenever you can see like how much of an issue the leak is whenever it touches their money, but how much of a non-issue things like I don't know two FA security on the accounts because nobody. Everybody's still getting hacked to hell. Like, there's no 2FA on the account. It's been an issue since day one. They've never done anything about it. Um, and then there's also just the fact that it's just an overall lack of content in general. I mean, this is starting off the exact same way 1.3 started. Thankfully, it's not a week wait before the events start. You only have like three days, and we have the hangout events to do in the meantime, so it's not that big of a deal. 
But 1.3, whenever 1.3 drops and you had seven days of nothing, of course people are going to get excited for leaks with 1.4. But this is definitely the worst leak I've ever seen. Like, day one, we immediately know everything that's happening in 1.5. We, I've never seen that happen. That's, yeah, that's wild, dude. But yeah, like I said, to recap, Mihoyo, there's some things you guys could focus on. If you did these things, I doubt people would care so much about the leaks. Leaks would probably still happen, but people, they wouldn't go fucking trending on Twitter so everybody knows about them. Um, if you did roadmaps of your characters that are coming, because people only care about the characters. You can hide all the content, you can hide everything you want. Just tell people what characters are coming. If they're super integral to the story, redact their name, give people an image, just give people an image, like an element, what they use. Um, don't even need to say what they do, and then the ele and then what they what materials they require, like books, um, these little like dandelions here, books, dandelions, uh, what element they are, etc. You know, and say it's all subject to change as well. Um, 2FA, you should really get on that, Mihoyo. That's pretty important. I don't have to worry about that so much because I play on PlayStation. Good luck getting into my uh, Genshin account. But yeah, you should really get on that, Mihoyo. That's really, really important. And then, um, also try not to make so much filler. Try to actually have continuous content for people. It's not that hard to come up with like, oh, here chest respawn today or something or you know some it's not hard and if you guys also another thing I, I know I'm kind of ranty in this video but if you guys were a little more generous on the freemo gems to where people earned a little bit more than you know one five star every two three months as a free to play player people wouldn't would be a lot more willing to spend and a lot less looking forward to leaks if you know they could actually be able to get a character patch or something like that. So, yeah. I think the ball is now in your court, Mihoyo. I know you're going to be going after the leakers. I wish them luck. But here's my advice to you guys if you guys watch this. But yeah, Mihoyo's pissed, guys. Mihoyo's very pissed. Anyways, I know this video is out of the blue. I'll catch you all later. Thank you all for watching. Peace.